Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today, and I'm out on another ride out. Um, just a uh, little uh, ride out discussing uh, a few things. Uh, got a new bike on order. We'll talk about that when we jump on, and uh, talk about that a bit more. I'm actually got, yeah, I'm in a piss pot helmet as well today, with uh, these um, fancy glasses. <laughs> anyway, we'll jump on. We'll see what she's all about today. Bloody boiling as well. Uh, a saying 25 degrees on here. Actually on the Norfolk coast. I'll try not to fall off, mind you. Wait. <laughs> Take a ride here actually, we'll go this way. But yeah, it's, uh, what's I saying on there? 25 degrees. And I'll tell you what, that is, uh, we've had a lot of good weather recently. I hope you can hear me okay. I've kind of got the microphone tucked in behind this uh, snood here. Uh, but yeah, we've had a lot of good weather, but I've not been out on uh, my own machine for a while, so it's actually quite nice uh, to get out on my own bike for a change. Uh, yeah, lots of reviews recently. Uh, plenty more to come, plenty more to come. Let's slow down a bit through here. Stealth my way through the village. So, uh, yeah, like I say, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit the old notification bell. Be much, much appreciated to have you along. Lots of new content coming to the channel. Uh, in order, in store, rather. What a lovely day. Plenty of people about today. Go on, sir. Across you go. Yeah, lots of people out and about today enjoying the weather. Um, what else can we talk about today? Well, yeah, like I said, I'm still waiting on the new bike. Uh, in fact, they, it, it, it went in for the PDR and they found, a, they found something small with it, so... Uh, Nothing major, so I was told. So they're in the process of rectifying that. So hopefully, well, those brakes are squeaking again. Could be the heat. Uh, so it's very, very hot today. Especially with all this gear on, this uh, leather jacket and that. But you got a t-shirt on underneath today. So yeah, hopefully that'll be here shortly. I've not, not actually got a delivery date yet, as such. Um, thank you. Oh, quite windy. That's nice. It's a nice breeze, though, to be honest. It's nice just to get out, uh, clear, clear my head a little bit uh, on the bike. And I thought, why not do a video? A video at the same time. What's a bumpy old ride, this. But yeah, I've got lots more reviews on on the on the way. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, below. I like reading all the comments. Let me know in the comments if uh, nice windmill there. If there's anything you fancy me taking out and doing a video on, be interested to, to know your thoughts on that. Here comes the sun again. But yeah. I thought I'd put the, uh, the old open face helmet on today to, uh, you know, what with it being so hot. And uh, it's actually the first time I've been out with it. It's a brand new helmet, so I had to kind of uh, sort of remount the camera a little bit. Uh, um, <laughs> I've got the microphone, like I say, underneath this snood, so I hope you can hear the sound okay. But yeah, like I said, I've just bought this this new helmet really to uh, uh, sort of nice nice for the nice for the summer. Uh, I do feel a bit vulnerable here. Obviously, it's got no protection at the front there, uh, and I have been hit a few times by you know the odds fly or whatever piece of debris off the road. So uh, I'm yeah. 
not quite sure I'm, I'm uh, liking that side of things too much. But it is nice to feel the wind in your face. Um, yeah. Got the 360 camera on the bike as well today. Um, give you some, uh, you know, some better shots there. Lovely. In the little village of um, Backton, right on the north, on the east coast, Norfolk. It's actually Backton Gas Terminal coming up here as well. Um, yeah, we got we got. As you know, if you're in the UK or whatever, or across Europe, there's a big uh, issue with the energy prices at the moment. Luckily, fuel has dropped slightly at the moment. Uh, at the moment, but whether that'll stay that way, I don't, I don't know. So uh, we need, we just need the energy prices to come down. Lower your prices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite crippling, really, for some, uh, for a lot of us. Well, for everybody. Now this is a gas terminal. This one. So the gas is, um, comes in here. Uh, yeah, it's very nice to come out on this today. Blow the dust off. But yeah. I had a mad idea the other day of uh, maybe selling this one on uh, and swapping this one for maybe something else. So I've got one, another bike coming and uh, I'm getting a little bit impatient really waiting for that. Don't really seem to be getting anywhere, for, any, anywhere further forward with it. But fingers crossed that'll all work out well. So yeah, quite, I'm really excited, excited uh, for that. But yeah, I did uh, contemplate swapping this one as well. Not too sure on what for, because this is an absolutely amazing bike. But it's coming up to that two year point where I, I don't know what it is, I just get a bit, maybe that's why I bought the other one. I've done that before actually with my, uh, my, uh, GSX R thousand R. After two, I think it was two or three years, <coughs> I sold that one. But I did wait till I had my new bike first. Hence, you know, this bit of being this this machine here. But yeah, this bike does tick a lot of boxes for me. So maybe that was just a uh, a mad moment. I was thinking of uh, selling it all. So I don't know what I'd go for. Maybe the speed. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, take a left. A left here. Don't actually know where I'm going to be honest. But uh, I love the sound of this. So it's got this one being the 2020 model. It's got the blipper as well, the quick shifter and blipper. Uh, I do generally tend to use the clutch a lot. Pretty much all the while, to be fair. I uh, don't think I'd miss that too much. I get asked that a lot, really, in uh, in the comments on uh, you know about the, the performance of the bike as well. And yeah, well, so it does tick a lot of boxes. All I can say is, if you are interested in one of these, all you can really do is go and test ride one for yourself and uh, experience uh, the bike. Same as, uh, you know, all these other models. I mean, I'm quite fortunate, really, to uh, have been able to go out and test ride a lot a lot of these new bikes. And they're... I'm waffling on a bit now, but... That's what this video is. Uh, yeah, I'm quite fortunate to go out and test ride a lot of these new bikes, and there's a lot of good bikes out there at the minute. There's a lot to choose from. Lots out there. So, 
I should be bringing you some more videos, uh, some uh, new videos on, well, on this new machine once it arrives. I'll do a first ride review, or first ride video. And that will literally be my first ride, I'll record it. And I'll be perfectly honest, I, I've not, I didn't even test ride it. Morning, I didn't even test ride the bike. Um, few people about. So uh, yeah, I don't know whether, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's not the first time I bought a bike without test riding, to be fair. My GSX-R600, I had a 600, I never test rode that. I just ended up ordering that straight, straight from the dealers. Oh, very windy. I'll be amazed if this audio is any good, but there you go. So yeah, it's the first ride out with this helmet, and it's, it's certainly different to riding with a full face helmet. Oh, very windy, God. Yeah, certainly different. Yeah, there's no, uh, obviously no protection here. No chin protection or anything, so I suppose in one way it might slow me down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the last thing you want to do is start ending up losing teeth. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> be waiting months on end to get into a dentist. It's another issue we have is uh, I tried to get into the dentist not that long ago and I just couldn't get in got one in the end but what a nightmare beautiful day got this colour in the sun it's the sparkle the metallic colour oh right we'll take a left here hello Plenty of bikes out today. This is what I hate. I've resurfaced the road. This is what you have to watch. Oh, also, you don't want to chip your bike up either. It's a bit of a nightmare, really. I suppose they have to do it, but... Yeah. Well, it's just lovely. A lovely day to be coming out. Um, you know, just do it uh, just on a... A random ride out and not not a review well, I quite enjoy doing uh, making these videos uh, just coming out at my leisure and just seeing where the uh, where you know what we end up I mean that is the luxury of motorcycle cycling is you, you could just get on the bike and it's no real urgency to get anywhere um, it's nice just to chill out really Uh, I see any downside in this uh, uh, this time of the year on these roads you, uh, you do get a lot of camper vans but I'm not really in any hurry today I can feel flies or a fly or something under this helmet it's annoying me oh there's nowhere for it to go either other than probably in my ear. <laughs> it's definitely something wriggling around in the helmet. Oh. So warm. Yeah. So yeah, let me know, you know, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me take out and ride and review. <coughs> Plenty of videos on the channel already. New bike reviews. Uh, have a look, there's a big playlist there. Have a look through the playlist. And come on. Oh, I wouldn't fancy uh, driving a, a big old motorhome round here, around these roads. Oh. Where's he going? Oh, he's going in there. This is the village of Haysborough. See Haysborough Lighthouse there in the distance.
got these new glasses on as well because obviously you can't ride without any uh, eye protection uh, it'd be silly to but these ones actually change their reactor light so quite handy really not like they go dark when the sun's out and uh, they'll change back to clear so uh, just trying them out today for the first time really sure how dark they actually go but oh yeah fairly dark I mean when you've got the, uh, the smoke visor on your helmet if you get caught out if you're out like night uh, you know you're going into the night time then uh, you're a bit buggered not unless you carry around another visor but does anyone generally do that I don't know <coughs> I suppose if you're uh, touring about maybe, but... Well... Well, thanks for joining me today on this little ride out, and... Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care. See you soon.